The most important thing you have in life is your body. I want to talk to you today about the most important person in the world, and that is you. You're a universe within yourself. If you learn to put material in your body that causes no toxemia, no mucus, no obstructions, no piling up of cholesterol and fat, you have found the secret of life as I have found it. I consider myself the living example of what natural nutrition will do for a human. Here I am today, a man far beyond the age of most men. Here I am a man who has a painless, tireless, ageless body. I can swim for miles. I can jog. I can go into the finest clinic, the Mayho Brothers, the Leahy Clinic. I can go to any of the fine clinics of the world. And I can be examined, and they say, you're a freak. No, I'm not a freak. No. I have just learned the science of living on natural foods. I have discarded all the refined foods, such as white refined white sugar, refined white flour, uh, white rice, and the embalmed foods such as hot dogs, bologna, salami, hams, and anything that has sodium nitrate and sodium nitrate in it, or benzoate of soda for that matter. I make it a point in my life to read labels. Because the label today tells you the story of what's in that food. And if I pick up something and it has a preservative or an additive, it's not for my body. Because I'm very jealous of what goes into this body. Because I don't want to live just a hundred years. I want to live indefinitely. I want to prove to the world that it's possible, the same as Dr. Alexis Carl did at the Rockefeller Medicine Institute, that he took a chicken heart and by feeding it correctly, it lived for 34 years. Now he did two things. He fed the tissue with live vital foods and kept the dead foods and the uh, embalmed foods, the salt, and all the other uh, low vibration foods out of that chicken heart. And what was the consequences? It lived on indefinitely. Now the only thing that a human can die from is a degenerative disease. Now because you have another birthday, that doesn't mean that there's a collapse within the human body. Age has nothing to do with what happens in your body. Age is simply a measure. And when people say they're getting older, I don't buy that at all. I don't believe that because there is no part of my body and your body over seven years of age. Think of it. Every 90 days, Paul Bragg gets a new blood strain. Now, what is that blood stream that is going to nourish the 40 trillion cells of Paul Bragg's body what kind of food is it? Is it live food or is it dead food? 
That is the question. You are what you eat, and what you eat today is walking and talking tomorrow. The only security you have in life is your health, nothing else. Your finances, your property, no matter what you put a value on, unless you have a good body, a body that is clean and pure and wholesome and is built from live materials. So we face today all the propaganda of the TV, all the allurement of devitalized foods, how they're built up. How if you eat this kind of cereal, it's going to do this for you, and it is going to do that for you, and this bread is going to build you up 25 ways, and so on. But let's also look at that TV, and what do we find? Ah, we find one commercial after the other that says, if you have a headache, here is your fast, fast, fast relief. Why should you have a headache in the first place? I, I've never had a headache. I never will have a headache. A headache is due to the building of toxic materials in your body. This body of ours must be in the alkaline balance. When we do not understand the balance of the acid and the alkaline balance within this body of ours, then we suffer from auto-intoxication, which means self-poisoning. We eat food that has been broken down by commercialism. Therefore, it will not go through the eliminative processes in the proper time and is retained in the gastrointestinal tract. Remember, you have a tube 30 feet long from your mouth to the anus. It has time. It has moisture. And you then cause a fermentation or a putrefaction within your body. And so the lungs, the skin, the kidneys, and the bowels cannot take care of all this poison. And so they pack up within the body and they cause obstructions. Nature tries in every way to get rid of them. And one of the ways she gets is to throw up a, a crisis, a healing crisis. And that's all a cold is. You don't catch a cold. You develop a cold. So when you learn to uh, eat the right foods and the right balances, you're not going to suffer from toxemia. You're not going to have deficiencies in your body. Your bones are not going to get porous. You're not going to have anemia from the lack of iron. You're not going to have nervousness from the lack of the vitamin B complex. Your heart is going to work better because you're going to use your wheat germ. Your uh, bloodstream is going to be in better condition. You're not going to get diabetes because you're not going to eat refined, concentrated sugar. And so th the things that kill people, the heart kills 52% of the people because there's gas pressure, there's the lack of vitamin E, there's the lack of the uh, vitamin B complex family which promotes 
a weak heart. Hippocrates, the father of medicine, 400 years before the birth of Christ said, your food will be your medicine and medicine will be your food. And in the uh, simple space of my lifetime, because I am one of the oldest uh, living nutritionists in the world today, in my lifetime, here is a science that you can add many, many years to your life and life to your years. Study. I have many books. There are other many fine books uh, available to you. Read it. Study it. And you can be reborn again. And you can live in perpetual youthfulness like I do. I feel great. I feel marvelous. I'm filled with vitality and energy. 365 days a year because I know the value of putting good food into my body. I'm a strong person and I want to remain that way. And you can do the same thing for you. Food can make or break you, and you can live in supreme joy and happiness. Thank you.